So three and a half weeks from now, we have three and a half school weeks left. That is it until your trial exams. It will start immediately after you come back after the Easter holidays. You need to make the most of the resources, the teachers that are available to help you. We only have 16 school weeks left until your first GCSE exam. Now, bear in mind, two of those are going to be in trial exams, so really that's 14 teaching weeks left with your teachers available to you. Okay, first thing is the A-level information evening until Tuesday the 6th of December. That is for all of you pupils and your parents. We would strongly encourage them to come, obviously, if they are available to come. I believe it starts at 5.30 and it's a chance for you uh, to go around all the subjects that will be in the front corridor, so all the new subjects, which I'll have a list on for you in a second, um, and all the subjects you already know that you've been doing at GCSE. And then there will be a presentation in here for, um, for, for you all. These are the new subjects that are available for you at A level um, that haven't been available at GCSE. I would suggest that you talk to maybe some sixth formers in your house that study these to get a little bit of base information first and then go and speak to the, the teachers in that front corridor on Tuesday the 6th of December. Okay, Friday the 16th of December, that is the end of term. Then you have three weeks of Christmas holidays. Um, I will let you have a little bit of um, fun over the Christmas holidays, but you also need to be revising because you've got your trial exams <coughs> when you come back, immediately when you come back. So starting on the Tuesday, the 10th, when you come back, you're in them for the next two weeks till the 21st. Your trial exam timetables are now available for you on your pupil app, on your ISAMS pupil app. Okay, so you can now see your trial exams, you can see um, what time they start, what you cannot see is where they are. Now as a general rule, they will be in the sports hall, okay, so when it comes to your trials, you'll wait outside the sports hall. If it is a, uh, an MFL listening exam, or it is art, or it is music, they are not in the sports hall. Okay, so you just need to check. You will get your paper copy at the end of this week, which tells you exactly where those exams are. Okay, you can probably have a wild guess, but you need to know. So the paper copies that you'll receive this week will tell you where they are. Your app will tell you the times of all your exams. Okay. Um, straight after the exam, so the first Monday back after your exams is your A level taste today. As I said, you will be choosing what options you are going to do on that day, on Tuesday 13th of December, the last Tuesday before the end of term. So just keep that in mind when you have the information evening on the 6th. The January will be giving you your A-level choices form, so you'll have your taste of lessons. After those lessons, you might think, whoa, I love that subject, I didn't really think I was going to, but I, I, I really, I definitely want to do that. Or it might be that you go to a lesson and go, I definitely do not want to do that at A level. So the idea being it either gives you ideas of things you might want to do, or it makes you realise I definitely don't want to do that. You then are going to be completing your A level choices form, which you'll hand in to us and we will build the blocks around you, a bit like we did it, exactly like we did at GCSE. Okay? Uh, and normally we manage to accommodate everybody. There's sometimes one or two we can't, but generally we can accommodate everyone. Also in January and February, Mr. Suckle will be heading up this Futures, Careers and Choices guidance. Um, so whether you have no idea at all what you want to do after school, whether it's apprenticeship, whether it's university, or whether you know I really want to apply to Oxbridge, or I really want to be a medic or a vet, okay, the guidance will start, some of you may have already had a little bit of help on this, but it will start um, properly in January and February. So even though you haven't even done your GCSEs, you're looking forward to what you're going to be doing in your next steps. Okay, 
highlight of everybody's year. You get to sit down with me and Mr. Salisbury um, and we just chat about your trial results, where you are, where you want to be, and um, also some sick form and onwards um, plans. So you all have a little trial interview with us. And then after half term, immediately after half term, your A level choices forms are submitted back into us, that's when we make the blocks. Just because you've handed in your four and you have said you want to do these three subjects in an enrichment or these four A levels, that is not set in stone. That is what we've built the blocks around. But if it comes to your GCSE results and you have done much worse in a subject that you thought you'd been brilliantly in and you thought you really wanted to do an A level and then you changed your mind, that is not a problem normally. Okay? All you do then is just email Mr. Wilkes, who will be the director of the sixth form. So you email Mr. Wilkes, and as long as it, the, it works in the blocks, you can change your subject. So don't think that once you put them in, it's completely set in stone, and that is what you have to do for your whole sixth form life. Okay, in March, uh, again, Mr. Suckle and I run a fifth form revision assembly. We do one for you. Um, in a morning, so again that will be in a tutorial slot, and we run one for your parents um, just so they can help you revise it so they know what we have told you. Um, sometimes it's a different story they give, so we'll be running one for your parents as well um, at a different time. Okay, but that will be happening in March, all of the exact dates more than the calendar. And then on Friday the 24th of March, that is the end of Lent term. Again, then we have three weeks. That is when your revision for your summer exam, well, that is when your revision for your summer exams has to majorly kick in. I would suggest that after your trials, so when you come back in January, after your trials and you've got feedback, that is when your revision should have started. You will still be getting preps, which are partly revision, but when you come to the holidays, that is when you need to begin. You will be making revision, um, revision timetables and tutorials and, and planners and things like that to give you a bit of guidance. Remember when um, Tim from Blue Cat's Pillar came in and talked about the firm learning, so having a framework, that is really important. If you just go into the holidays, just go, oh yeah, I've just got to do some revision. Fancy a bit of that, fancy a bit of that. Okay, you're not necessarily going to cover all the subjects, so you need a framework. On offer to you, <coughs> Dean Close runs an Easter revision <coughs> course. Now, these Easter revision course, the GCSE, you can you can do up to four GCSE subjects, and it can be day. So, if you live close by, it can just be a day course, or if you live further afield, it, it can be residential. And it's held here in school. It's really small um, class sizes. Sometimes there's only two or three people. Maybe there's nine or ten. But you can choose up to four GCSE subjects that you want intense revision on. Okay? And what's really good is they send out uh, questionnaires and you can tell them the areas that really need to focus on as well in particular subjects. Now this is a really good idea if you know that you are someone who doesn't particularly like working, and especially if you're someone who particularly dislikes certain subjects, and it's easier to uh, revise a subject you like, isn't it? Or you find easy. So if you were going to do this, I would strongly suggest that you chose subjects, not thinking, if it was me, I would go, oh, I love PE, so I'll spend a week revising PE, because I'd do that in my own time. Whereas for me, it'd probably be like, oh, chemistry. I don't particularly like chemistry. Sorry, any chemistry teachers. Um, and I find it difficult. So if somebody's there going to make me work on it, then that is just going to be really helpful. Okay, so I would say your, your <coughs> least popular subjects or your harder subjects would be ones to choose to do um, at the revision course if that's something you want to do. Um, Dr. Roon is overseeing that, so he will be sending you more information. Right, this seems a long time away. But it is not. It is going to come around <coughs> so quickly. So we come back on Tuesday the 18th. Your first exam, your first real GCSE, is on Wednesday the 5th of May. Okay? That 
that is not long. That is, it's just going to go absolutely, it's just going to fly right. So your first exam is on Wednesday the 5th of May. Your second exam, at the moment, is scheduled for Monday the 8th of May. Now for those of you who switched on, you might realise that Monday the 8th of May is the bank holiday for the King's coronation. So we have contacted the exam board. Because it's an international exam board, it's not just a British exam board, so we are waiting to hear from them what is going to happen. And unfortunately, it's not a case of they can just push it to Tuesday the 9th, because on Tuesday the 9th, you have your first English literature exam. Okay? So they are going to come thick and fast as soon as we come back after those, after those Easter holidays. So, Wednesday the 5th, definitely not 100% sure what's going to happen on, to the, on the Monday the 8th one, but it will be around there somewhere. Okay? They might put it might make it earlier, might make it Friday the 7th. Just got to be aware. Um, because they haven't been finally confirmed yet for the exam dates, it is likely that study leave will begin on the 15th of May, Monday the 15th of May. Okay? That is to be confirmed. Unfortunately, I'm not important enough to just decide that. Okay, But that is when we think it will be. Oh, when you go on study leave, though, you won't be just on your own, okay? Your teachers will still be available. If you have your lessons, when you normally have your lessons, your teachers will be there to help you if you want them. If you are much happier just going off and revising your own stuff in your own time, again, that is fine, okay? But it's not like all support will just disappear as soon as you go on study leave. So, the bulk of your exams will start that week. And then they will run right up until half term. At half term, Saturday the 27th, you'll get a break for a week. Obviously, a revision break for a week. And then you'll come back, you'll have more exams after the half term break. And then, again, this is um, to be confirmed, but I think your GCSE exams finish on Friday the 16th. So, your exam period runs from Wednesday the 5th of May, first exam, to Friday the 16th of June. That is a long time. The good thing about that is that your exams are spread out a bit. You will have, some of you will have um, two exams on one day, or you, you might even have like, three days in a row where you've got exams and then a few days without an exam. But you just need to look at that and kind of work it out and look how you, uh, where you're going to focus your revision for certain subjects, depending on where the exam is for. We will work through that with you, okay? Um, you've then got a week before speech day and prize giving, okay? As we had last year, that's when uh, speech day is, on the Saturday of the last week of term. After that, in the very final week of term, there is a skills week that is available to you. This is completely optional. If you want to go, I've had enough of school, I don't want to do anything else, I want to go on my summer holidays, that is fine. We would, however, strongly recommend you to get involved in some of these um, skills training. Okay? Now, some of them last the whole week, some of them last just a day or an afternoon. So for example, we've got the uh, National Field Lifeguard qualification. That is five days of training. That is a great course, because once you've got that, you can then work as a lifeguard in any of the pools, I was gonna say Cheltenham, but anywhere. Um, you can work in your sixth form, you can work as a lifeguard at the school if the school needs covering. Okay, so that is a really good qualification to have. That is a very high qualification. Um, the learn to drive, obviously, is just a, a bit of a taster session for you. Um, I think I think we did them on the railway course last time. Um, but I just need to make sure I know where that is, so I say where that out of the way. Silver Service Catering is put on, um, the training for that is put on by the dining room. Again, once you've got that, you can go and get a job. Uh, once you've had a bit of training, same with the barista, um, the coffee training. First aid qualification, obviously, we need to have. Cooking and baking courses, that's really the, um, in the 
cookery school, and then new last year with the financial management, which is a very good thing, very good skill to have, especially at the moment, and IT and cyber skills course. Okay, all these things are available to you. You will find out much more about these, but it's just to bear in mind that, that last week of term, there are things that are for you if you want to do them. Okay? Finally, to help with your revision. Now, we have the Blue Caterpillar, uh, Tim from Blue Caterpillar, come in on the field day back in September. It seems quite a long time ago now. Um, he hopefully gave you some ideas, some techniques, some things to try out uh, to help you with your revision. That is one thing that you have in your arm. Another thing, I don't know how many of you have been on here, but if you go onto dcslibrary.com, this is our school <coughs> site, and then, for some reason, I don't know why it's so tiny, but down the side here, well, I'm pointing to my notes here, it's the one, two, three, four, fifth down, it says learning and study kits, okay? That is going to be your friend. These are the learning and study kits. Okay. Here you have, and I'll show you an example of one in a minute. This is every subject that you do, it is a, an audit or a revision, revision tracker. Okay, I'll show you one of those in a minute. But you can get that and use that for every subject. It may be that your subject teacher gives you it to do anyway, but if not, they are there. And here, there are lots of different tools, so revision pops that some of you may have used, um, flashcards, um, different uh, learning and memory clock system, lots of resources that Mr. Supple will talk through with you and you may have used before. But go on to here and have a look. Have a look, see if there's anything there that is useful to you. This is the revision tracker. So this is the PE one. So in there, we have got each unit, each topic, and we've got this for every subject of GCSE. And the idea being, in the first column here where it says, oh, sorry, the second column where it says audit, you can do whatever, we've said one to four, so if you are highly confident, you completely understand it, you put a one in there. If you're not at all, you put a four. Obviously, if you are less confident, you will then spend time revising on it, then you do it all this again and then spend the time advising the ones that you're less confident on. You can use track line system or whatever you want, okay? But those are really useful to you. Okay. I have literally gone through that pretty quickly. But like I say, it will be uh, sent out. Um, you will get copies of the slides. And you just need to bear in mind, so the first thing, you'll be reminded as we go along, Reminders for this term, Tuesday the 6th of December, in the evening, so 5.30, is um, the A-level information evening, where you can go and find out lots about the subject. Then on Tuesday the 13th, so the next Tuesday, you'll receive information before then, so get ready, but on that Tuesday, you're going to be in here and you will need your device, you will need your laptop with you, all that, okay? Because you'll have to, you'll be choosing your options which will take place on your laptops, okay? So there's sort of the two first things coming up. Has anybody got any questions about what I have run through? Brilliant, I must have been super clear or you're all asleep. Okay, great. So. It is almost quarter two, so you can now go straight to your first lessons. Well done, guys. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs>